In this video, we will show you how to sublimate a sippy cup. So let's get started. Okay, so we have already printed out the design. This is what we're going to use to uh, sublimate our sippy cup. This is the one that I showed you earlier. First, um, I'm going to trim it up by using this car rotary trimmer. It's a lot easier and it's accurate, so make sure that I get nice edges on my design, my straight edges. Okay, now I want to check and see if it's going to fit my tumbler. I always place mine upside down, turn my design upside down, and see if it's going to fit. That looks like it's going to be just perfect. Okay, now the next thing you need, when you're doing sippy cups, you want the design, if it's a, like a design like this, to be centered underneath of your sippy uh, the spout. spout. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. So what I do is first you got to take your top, your sippy top, and screw it on. That way you know where the front's going to be. Then I take a, a marker and I turn it on its side like this and I just put a little black dot like that. You don't have to make it very much just so you know where the front of the design is. And then you can find that little black dot. You know, see I can see the dot right there. So I know that's the front. So I take my design. I mean you're not going to be a hundred percent accurate but at least it's going to be pretty close to the front. And wrap it around just like that. So now the front of my design is where I want it to be. And the way I tape my sippy cups, I just start in the middle, pull my paper around nice and tight, just like that. Get another piece of tape, go close to the top, pull my paper around nice and tight, just like that. And I put one at the bottom, which is really the top. It's just the way I tape them. You should have a slight overlap. This is probably about an eighth to, between an eighth and a quarter of an inch. You don't want to go less than an eighth of an inch. And I set it on my tumbler taping stand that I custom make and sell on my Etsy site. And I put one piece of tape down the seam. Don't smash it down till you get the bottom on there. Okay, hold it with your thumb, pull on it, line it up, and just run your thumb down the seam line like that to get all the air out. Just do it a few times and take your thumbnail or credit card or whatever you want to use and then the seam that you can see, kind of run your thumbnail down that seam, turn your cup around, and there's a seam you can't see. So just find it with your thumbnail. When you do, run it down that seam also, several times, from the top to the bottom. And then, I don't know if you can see very well, but there is a, probably about a quarter inch seam right there. And that's what we want. Okay, so now, I am going to tape the bottom and the top of the tumbler, of the sippy cup. If I can find the edge of my tape, there it is. Okay, so I take it and I overlap it just a hair, just so I have something to fold over the bottom. Well, I guess it's more than a hair, it's probably about almost halfway. Okay, kind of smooth out that and then fold over the bottom tape, over the bottom. And I like to take my desk and kind of 
just roll the tumbler around on it just to make sure I get all the wrinkles out around the bottom. Because you do want wrinkles on the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to put another piece of tape over that tape. Just because I want to make sure that I don't have any ghosting around the top or the bottom. So I take the second piece of tape and I run it up to the edge. And go around it just like that. And smooth it out. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the top. But overlap a little bit. Pull it around. Cut it. Smooth it out. Fold it over. Put another one right over that. This time just bring it up to the top of the cup. Bring it around. Cut it. Smooth it out. Now I like to do the run my thumbnail down here a couple more times on both sides just to make sure I've got that air out of there okay so now we need to shrink wrap it so you can use the shrimp wrap shrink wrap you use for your 20 ounce tumblers I mean it's a little bigger but what I do is I take and I cut it down to seven inches just like that now I use this, put it on there like that, take my heat gun, <clears throat> just gently start heating it, get too close you'll melt it, so keep at least four to six inches away from the sippy cup, get both ends, and then just kind of work the wrinkles out. Like I said, don't get too close. You're just trying to get all the wrinkles out. Make sure you get both ends. And the seam roll. That's all you have to do to prepare it to be placed into the convection oven. Okay, so we're going to put our sippy cup in our convection oven. We use the exact same settings as we use on a 20 ounce tumbler, which is 350 degrees for five and a half minutes, turning about halfway through that five and a half minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and place it in there. And then in about two and a half minutes, I'm going to rotate it. Okay, so we're about two and a half minutes in, so I'm going to go ahead and rotate the tumbler. We're just going to rotate it 180 degrees. And we'll let it run for another three minutes. Okay, so we're reaching our five minute mark, or five and a half minutes, I mean. So I'm going to shut this off at five and a half minutes. And I will take this sippy cup and I will uh, soak it in room temperature water. Okay, so our uh, sippy cup is cool enough to peel the shrink wrap off. I just soaked it in uh, room temperature water to get it to cool down. Okay, I'm going to peel off the shrink wrap. This shrimp rack, shrink wrap usually just peels right off if I can find the perforation oh there it is sometimes it doesn't want to peel this one here has been a little difficult There we go. So here's our sippy cup. 
I just need to wipe off the uh, paper residue. Get you a little damp rag and just wipe off your paper residue. Okay, so here it is. Um, looks very nice. No ghosting. Colors are good. Now let's see how our top lines up. There we go. And that's how we sublimate a sippy cup in a convection oven. Hopefully you like this video. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, in the uh, de description you'll see we have a lot of other videos you might like to watch. Thanks for watching.